Welcome back. I'm George and this is the Baker Farm. Today is coop cleaning day and I thought I'd show you how I do it. Keeping a clean coop is vital to your chicken's health and happiness. I like to plan to clean it out about every two weeks or so. Some may say that's a little too often. That may be true, but because I work during the week, I find that gives me a little peace of mind in case I have to miss a week or two. This cleaning is a great example, as I've had to miss the last two weeks due to injury and the rain. George, don't you want to tell them why I'm here? I guess that would help. Um, this is my wife, Cindy, and okay. while she was editing the video, she came up with a lot of questions and we thought we'd answer them while you watch. So I have questions. <laughs> like in this list, what are flakes? Flakes? They're the pine shaving flakes, the things I'm raking out right now. They go on the bed of the bed of the coop and you always want to make sure you don't get the fine ones you get the flakes because the fine ones generate a lot of wood dust well it looks like you've already had a lot of wood dust actually that's the diatomaceous earth and that helps the chickens health as well as helps keep a lot of bugs out of the out of the coop you don't they eat the bugs yes they will but sometimes you can get too many for them to manage and it's just unhealthy for them that does look really dusty yeah well it diatomaceous earth generates a lot of dust yeah that looks like it needs to be mopped. I, I do mop. I mop about once a year. That's all it really needs. Here, I'm just scraping all the, the mess off of the floor to keep it, keep it clean and sanitary. Also, about once a year, I come through with a vacuum, and I vacuum out all the corners, and I just make sure everything is really, really nice and clean. What do you mop it with? Just regular water. Regular water and a dedicated mop that I have that I just use in the coop. Why not vinegar? Vinegar. That's probably a good idea. Um, and probably give it a shot next time. See how see how much better it works. Keeping it scraped though on a regular basis dramatically reduces the amount of mopping I have to do. What else do you do once a year? Once a year, I also uh, treat the run, um, get some of the old bedding out of there, and put it in the compost heap, as well as put new bedding in the run or new, you know, hay or whatnot to keep them. Um... Oh, you're talking about the run outside. Yes. It doesn't get wet from the rain? It gets a little wet from the rain. Like last night, it got drenched, but uh, now it's, it's fine. Okay. So what about the nest boxes? Are you going to clean those out too? No, I don't clean those every time because they stay really clean. Um, I, I just inspect them, make sure they're clean and there's not any poop in them from the birds, and I just let them, let them stay, and then I'll, I'll add a little extra. And then about every other time, I'll clean them out completely. I can't wait for us to get the baby chickens. Yep, they're, they're, we got about another month. Um, they'll be here around March 13th. And for anyone who loves baby chickens, we will have plenty of videos. We How have many are coming. we getting now? We have eight coming. <laughs> we have eight coming, okay. Yes, What yes. kind are they? We have two uh, leg, white leghorns, mm -hmm. two Easter eggers, two Rhode Island reds, and two silver penciled Plymouth rocks. That's Do a we mouthful. really need that many? That was the least amount that the uh, hatchery would send. Uh, we're, we're using My Pet Chicken. Uh, my daughter's had good results with them in the past, and because of health reasons and shipping issues, uh, they, they'll only ship eight at a time, so we had to go with eight. I really wanted only about four or five at, to begin with, but I didn't have a choice. Oh, do they like need that for warmth? Yes, yes. Oh. They ship them to you fairly quickly, but if they get hung up or whatnot, they want to make sure they can stay warm Ooh. and healthy and they're not, you know, they don't die. <laughs> they don't die. Why die to Mesha's Earth? I talked about that a minute ago. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you again. It's for the bugs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and it keeps, it keeps them healthy. Oh, okay. Because um, it, it, it attaches to their feathers and also helps with lice and mites and those kinds of things. Oh, okay, good. Now, are you going to put all of this in the compost heap? Yes, that's going to be coming up right now. Oh, good. Now, um, one thing about chicken uh, poop in the compost heap is it is Ew. what's considered hot. So you need to make sure that it, it seasons and, and composts down along with everything else. There are other, there are other um, animals who are, have what they call cold or complete uh, poop. Rabbits and my, guinea pigs, for, for instance. My, my guinea pigs. Those, that can be applied directly to plants, whereas the chicken poop has to cook, so to speak. Okay. Now, what are you getting ready to do now? I'm getting ready to spray some rosemary oil. Ooh, why do you spray? How do you, what do you, what? <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> that is a mixture. It's about 16 drops of rosemary essential oils, 
and about 24 ounces of water. And what it does is it helps deter, whereas the diatomaceous earth kills the bugs, this just helps to deter them to begin with. It also smells really good. So, so basically you're putting perfume on the chickens. Not really. There's not <laughs> enough there, but I try to get it around all the openings and um, get it anywhere that you know bugs might come in. That's why you see me spray around the nest box, around the pop door, and also I'll be spraying around the, the uh, full-size door here in a second. Okay. Do you get a lot of bugs? Do we get a lot of bugs? Cause that we kinda did there for a while. Um, when it was a lot warmer, um, we did, and so I started cleaning it out a lot more often. And uh, it's been so cold, I can't really tell, but I'm hoping that this really helps. Oh, now, one, okay. one tip I've got if you're building your own coop is go with a vinyl floor. Um, that vinyl flooring is really cheap at Lowe's, and it just makes cleaning it so much easier. It does make it, it look a lot nicer. Yeah, it doesn't absorb any water. This coop stays fairly dry. Actually, the coop stays really dry, but it doesn't absorb anything, so it makes it easy to clean. Mm. It takes, and this coop is a six by eight, um, so it takes about one one bag of the uh, flakes there from Tractor Supply, and it seems to fill it up really nicely. Uh, if I need to do the nesting boxes, I'll have to open another bag usually, and you see me put a little bit in there now. But if I have to do them completely, I like to open up another bag, and I'll just throw the rest of the bag in the run. Oh, okay. Now, I know we're going to expand the chicken run, what, in the spring? Uh, no, actually, probably the next month or so. Well, yeah, the spring. <laughs> the next month is the, is the spring, isn't it? Yes, it yes. is. So, um, Are I'm you going to expand the coop? Not right now. I think the coop is big enough. The run okay. just seems a little small for me. Technically, depending on who you listen to, it is big enough for the chickens because we'll have 13 at the time. Three of them will be bantams. But um, I just I feel like they need some more space, so I'm going to double the, the coop. That, that looks pretty big. No, the to coop me. is fine. Yes, yeah. yeah the but coop. will we need to expand the, the boxes? No, no, the boxes are fine. Um, most people agree you only need one box for every three chickens. Okay. And I'm assuming that's laying chickens, and we are only going to have twelve laying chickens because well, one of ours is a rooster. One of our bantams is a rooster. I know it's Mr. Big. Yes. So we're putting on the diatomaceous earth now. I, I like to put a good, good helping in there to keep everything down. And just but go. you don't need to put it in the nest boxes. No, not really. Okay. I really don't want them in the nest boxes, but we've got one that just loves to stay there. <laughs> they get broody. Yes, yes, she is. She's broody. Miss Betty White. Mm-hmm. That's too bad. I didn't uh, save the filming of you chasing the chickens out of the coop. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Mm-hmm. A little dizzying, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so right now you're getting ready to do the water. Well, actually, oh. first, I'm going to scrape the um, the ramp there. I like to scrape it. Oh, I'm it. so glad you cleaned that. Yeah, I like to scrape it about, actually, once a night if I can. That's hey, from one day? Uh, I've been a little off the last week or so, the weather and everything. But I do like to grab that knife. I keep it in the greenhouse, just grab it on the way out. And then I Please scrape tell it down. me you only use that for the chickens. That is dedicated. Yes, that and the broom and the mop are all dedicated to the Excellent. chickens. And I highly recommend if you're going to do this to have it dedicated. That way you don't have to worry about getting getting sick or Inkies. you know uh, getting the chickens sick either because yeah. of biosecurity. Look at them; they're so floofy. Now there, I have the water. Yeah, uh, I like to refill that every Saturday and wash it down really good. Yeah, so it's nice and clean. But not with soap and water? No, you don't, don't need, it's pure water, so we don't need to worry about soap and water. Now, how often do you put vinegar in that for the chickens? Um, I don't put vinegar in it right now, but uh, I have uh, a little, I forget what it's called, just a little um, probiotic kind of thing that I put in there occasionally. Okay. And you really shouldn't, there again, there's so many different things online about this. Some say do it every week, some say do it every day. So I kind of hold off, and I've only been doing it when they're really stressed or having issues. Well, that's really all the questions that I had. Thank you for having me. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> all right, bye-bye. I'm George, and this is The Baker Farm. Till next time, have a great day.